Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic. <laughs> Tank Davis comes with the... With the boom. So last night, Tank Davis KOs, or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Technical knockout. Mr. Ryan Garcia, and he does it cleanly, too. And I was still, listen, man, listen, man, y'all didn't want to watch that fight with me. Hey, I was, bro. I could, look, I could tell when he was loading up because mostly what he was doing, Tank was using his counters. And the famous person that used those counters is his, is the guy in his ring, Floyd Mayweather, the one backing him. That that counter that counter left, whoo! That counter straight left, bop! <laughs> hey, ah! Yo, bro, listen, man. <laughs> listen, everyone was thinking, oh, if he's gonna knock him out, he's gonna hit him with one of those. Combo breaker. No, he didn't need a combo breaker. He needed one fist from the ground up. He hit him right in the sweet spot with the shoulder. And I'm dead serious with you. I was like, yo, Tank done turned into Ryu and Ken, bro. You lucky you didn't get hit with that. <laughs> bro. Yo. <laughs> yo, that man was on the ground praying for relief. Could you imagine if he just heard from the corner and just heard him say, finish him. Oh my God! Can you imagine how frightening it would be for him if he just heard that? Finish him! Oh man, fatality time! Oh, bro, listen, man. Look, <laughs> I would say this though. Shout outs to Ryan Garcia. Yes, we're gonna make jokes because when you get knocked down, knocked out, whatever, you get made fun of. But um, I always say this: Ryan Garcia is a great fighter, and it, you have to have some big cojones to step in that ring. Because what a lot of people in their lives, what they're used to doing, and I always tell people, is just saying, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, stop, please. You know what I'm saying? When they start losing. I mean, think about what it took him to, to now. It was a perfectly placed liver shot. And he was already trying to rehydrate, so he felt that. There ain't no fat on that stomach <laughs> protecting that liver. And he made that liver quiver. God darn. Oh. Bro, man. I couldn't have. I'm, listen. Y'all lucky I wasn't at the fight. Y'all lucky. I would have been popping up into y'all screen like. Toasty. <laughs> like straight up, bro. But no, but for real though. Like Ryan Garcia didn't fight bad. It's just Tank has dynamite in both hands. And what he's a counter puncher. So here's the thing. When you're fighting a guy usually that has power, their their style is usually brawling. They're brawlers. You know what I mean? And they'll throw a wild and then catch you with one, right? That's not Tank Davis. He has a slightly unorthodox style to him, but he's a counter puncher. And that's like the worst thing. When you have dynamite in both ends, you're a counter puncher because countering, you have to understand something. When you're fighting, the, the 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 punch that knocks you down is the one you don't see or the one you don't expect coming. I can punch you in the face all day like this and you can see it coming because you can brace for it. You can brace for the impact. But if you if I go like this and throw a faint, you go like this and then they throw that uppercut and you don't see it and all you got is a whoopsie. Bro, let me. Toasty. Hey, got your jaw leaning. Then that's when you get knocked out. That's when you get put to sleep. That's when you're online talking with some. Mm-hmm. Sleeping. Thank you. Listen, man. Garcia's lucky he didn't get um slept. Because he almost, listen, after that first shot, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Second round. And he's already delivering that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, bro, say it ain't so, Garcia. Don't go out like that. The sec- that would have been devastating. That would have been devastating. If he would have went out, if, if Tank would have got him out of there in two rounds, I don't think his career would have um his career wouldn't have bounced back from that. <laughs> like 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 straight up like it wouldn't have bounced back. Like you could Here's the thing. 
if somebody knocks you out in the 11th, 10th, later rounds, it's like, all right, tired, there's different things, you know, that kid. Because in people's minds, they're trying to say, why did he get knocked out? But if you just come into the game and get knocked out immediately, bro, yo, you're finished. You're finished. That's like your career. Because everyone's going to be like, yo, you didn't even stand a chance. Two rounds in. That's like Mike Tyson type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just knock him out. Get him out of here. Let me go home. And then, you know what I'm saying? We out of there in 10 minutes, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's like going into the Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying? Go in. Come out. <laughs> Well, boy, I felt sorry for that man, bro. I really did. I really, really, really felt bad for him because, man, it wasn't like usually when you're knocked out, you know. It made it look like he quit. And that's the worst look for any boxer. If, you, if you've ever been in a fight, UFC, stuff like that, getting knocked out, that's the thing for, like, fans. You get like, oh, you got knocked out. But real fighters know that anybody could get caught. You feel what I mean? It's when the other fighter makes you quit that other fighters be like, bro, seriously? Are you serious right now? That's when other fighters start looking at you sideways. You understand where I'm coming from? And when he connected on that side, that side shot, I was like, yo, is that a rib? He caught him clean, clean, clean. Because I was watching with my brother. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, watch watch his foot. Watch him, watch him loading. Because Floyd has a, when Floyd wants to load up that left, the counter, he twists his foot to get perfect traction. Because when you throw, he's coming back, and I'm coming back with it straight in your face. So you could, it's, watch Floyd fights. He, he literally always sets his foot back in the position so that he has perfect explosion off that back foot to punch you dead square in your face. And, you know, watching it happen, man, in real time, I was like, bro, that's a body shot. I remember, I was like, oh, he hurt him. It was so funny. I wish I would have, listen, if I would have, if I could have live streamed that, I would have. I imagine, because I was like, oh, yo, because my, my brother's name, G, I was like, yo, G looked like he hurt him. And all, he's like, nah, I didn't hurt him. And he went down to his eyes. I was like, I told you he hurt him. You can see it on his face. You can see it in his eyes. Even if you try to act like the tough guy, the eyes, the eyes are the windows into the soul. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you something right now. That man's liver was out there screaming in that cave, screaming in the ring. Oh, oh, oh. As soon as that man hit him with that, Sorry, Kim. that man's liver said, oh, oh, oh. he's like, I can keep going. But that liver was like, oh, oh, oh. liver was like, please don't let me go. I got to keep going. Oh, oh, oh. His promoters were on the sideline like, oh. I'm sorry, guys, man. I be doing some craziness sometimes. He hit him with that. Sean here, Kim. <laughs> that man's liver said. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm look, I'm, I'm look. Like I said before, we're gonna make jokes about it. But man, kudos to Ryan Garcia and both of them after the fight showed such respect. You know, because look, at the end of the day, you know, it's competition at the highest order. It's a pugilistic sport. You already know it's blood, sweat, tears, and pain. You know what I mean? And it takes a lot to do what those guys do. But after it was so cordial between the two, you could see it. They're like, all right, let's share numbers and stuff like that. And they'll probably, who knows? If Garcia goes on another um, win streak, there could be a Tank Garcia too. And I'm pretty sure people will watch it, you know? Um, but, but overall, great fight. I was happy with it. Um, let's just be real. Tank Davis is the face of the sport right now. I, if anybody says Canelo, this is the only thing I want to say to you looking you straight in your face. Oh! Because you're lying, and you're probably from Mexico. Because <laughs> he is not the face of boxing anymore. It is Tank Davis. It is Tank. Because he got a howitzer in both hands. My God! He should have joined the army. Here. Yes, sir! Because that boy got artillery rounds. Boy, man, I was like, dang, Garcia. And Garcia, listen, Gar Garcia can hit. He can hit. He can hit. And, and when he hit him with that first shot, I saw it in Garcia. I'm like, yo, he don't want to get hit again. Certain times, with certain fighters, when they get hit, it's like, all right, you got me. That's all you got? That ain't nothing. When, you, when Garcia got hit with that first in the second round, 
and he got back up, he was like, yo, <laughs> yo, what the heck? What's in, is something in his glove? <laughs> like, that was his facial expression. So I was looking at it like, uh-oh. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to get him out of there in round five, honestly. Um, I, I told my brother, I said, either round five, if he doesn't get on, because after he got knocked, I was like, it's got to be out by round five. But if it's not round five, it's going to round ten. I did not see him getting out of there by seven. But they said he called seven. That makes it even more devastating. But like I said, great fight. Loved it. I had fun watching it with the fam. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Tank Davis. He is the face of the sport. He has learned. And you know what I love? Um, watching him with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is not looking for the limelight. He just pushes him out there and says, hey, 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 I had my time. I had my time. It's your time now, young slip. Go out there. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. You know what I'm saying? These cameras ain't here for me. They're here for you. You know what I'm saying? And you can just see it on Floyd, uh, Floyd's face, just, just so proud. Like, I was watching, like, sometimes it would pan to his face, and it, it looked like he was, like, looking at his son, like, oh, my God. I'm so proud of this man. Yo, knock him right here. You ever he had that face like uh like Day Day. You remember Day Day in um next Friday? You Uncle Willis son. You Uncle Willis son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. You remember in next Friday when he was hitting the dog with the belt, uh Craig, and they jumped in the car <laughs> and he was hitting him. He's like, huh, huh. He's like, that's right. You hit him. Rah. You Uncle Willis son. Uh, that's right. Huh. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what his his face reminded me of. Like, oh yeah, get him, get him, get him, good, get him. All right, yeah, that's right, boy. So, I, man, shout outs to that team. Shout outs to Tank. Baltimore right now is on fire. Um, Baltimore's looking great right now. The only thing they got to do is go sign Lamar Jackson. I don't care if you if you're bad that I put that in there. That's the owner can't show. I put in what I want to put in. If you don't like it, then watch I gonna do all that. We can always meet in the middle of the ring. And trust me, this cute baby face. Hey, hey, I, I got dynamite, baby. I got dynamite. Don't you? Whoa, whoa. That pork too quick, too fast. Lightning. Brown lightning. Caramel lightning. You know I look good on a Sunday. And that's another episode of the Water Kids Show. <laughs> yo, man, yo, thanks for watching. Give me a new some world, but you're here with me. You know I love y'all for it. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I always comment back. Just be respectful to people's other differing opinions when we're talking amongst each other and we have no problems. If you would like to donate to this channel to help it grow, at the bottom of the screen is a QR code for a cash app. You can find a cash app in the description of every video that we do, and it goes by the name of it, Money Sign. The Wonderkin Show. Also now available in the description of every video that we do is the Patreon for The Wonderkin Show. Okay? Go out and go buy that. Go out there and go get that, all right? <laughs> it gives you um access to the Wonderkin Discord. Gives you access to questions from subscribers which starts this week. Okay? And it also will give you access to um for the ability to win free merchandise, which is coming up in the next two to three weeks. So once again, this is the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you guys knows my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Like how Tank did Mr. Garcia. Shawnee Kim. <laughs> yep.